Welcome to the Ranta Mera, the place where programming begins. You are on the right place to start your plus pen journey. Today, in this video, I will be discussing my experience of TCS Digital interview. There are many people who got selected for TCS Digital, but they takes lots of effort to clear the TCS Digital interview because whole lot of interview is mainly depends on your project and technical skills since it is for higher package as compared to TCS. So in this video, I will be discussing all my experience about what was asked in the interview, how I prepared for interview, how long my interview went on and how was my overall experience. So I highly recommend you the TCSers who are looking for jobs in the TCS. This video is really helpful for you. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till end so that you can come to know a brief idea about how to prepare for TCS interviews. And at the same time, this interview will also help you for rest of the companies as well. So without wasting time, let's get going. So it's nearly been one year I'm working in, a, in TCS as a system engineer. I'm working on a project. Uh, it's nearly, I would say, 13-14 months, months completed for my particular project I'm working on. And I have come across many new experience about interviews and other related things. So today I will be sharing you one specific experience that is about interview. So let me tell you that I got selected in TCS for a digital profile in October 2022. So it's nearly been one year. So my interview took place on 23rd October 2022 and the result came on 2nd November 2022 exactly on the day of Diwali. So what was happened in the interview that my interview was exactly at 1 pm I still remember clearly. So there were three people in the interview. There were two ladies and one man. So one man who was there, he was from database section because most of the questions were mainly asked on the database. So first question they asked me about introduce yourself. Then I introduced themselves. And if you want to know how to introduce yourself in a unique way, I have already made the video on this. The link will be given on the description box. So first they asked as usual, introduce yourself. Then I answered the question, introduce yourself. So from my introdu introduction, they came to know that I am from CS background. So the person that is a man gave me a list of subjects like C, C++, data structures, algorithm, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, operating system and many other subjects he gives. And he asked me to choose a subject which you are really good at it. So I chose uh, subjects like C, C++, data structures, algorithm, database and operating system because these are my all time favorite subject and I was I'm really good in this subject but as that person was belonging to the database section so he started asking me questions on database so my interview totally went on for nearly 47 minutes so for the 47 minutes I would say 25 to 30 minutes was all related to the database he was asking a lot of database questions I still remember few of the questions he asked me what is triggered what do you mean by cursor he asked them questions related to the joins then he came a difference between the primary key and the candidate keys and unique key and then he gave me to write two different queries so what i would suggest is if you are going for TCS digital interview you have to thorough with technically clearly because it might get possible that depending on the person standing in front of you or the person who is taking interview might ask you either to write a code or either to write a query it is really important Yes, if you are going for Ninja interview, it, they might not ask you to write a query or coding. But again, it's totally depend upon the person who is taking the interview, I would say. So they asked me to write the two queries, then I wrote those two queries. And he was asking a lot more questions about my database. And the last database question he asked me about acid properties. And when I was about to answer that question, he was like, okay, you know this question. Because for your information, I would say, I really feel happy about it because in the 47 minutes of interview, there was exactly one question I was unable to answer. I still remember that question, that is what is cursor he asked me from database section and I was not aware about it. Apart from that, all the questions I have answered them clearly. And that's the reason why when he asked me the question, what do you mean by acid property? As I was about to tell that answer, he said that you know it. So we stopped at database section. 
and then you went on to C++. Then he asked me questions on friend functions, virtual functions, polymorphism, and then he gave me a couple of examples just to make sure that which is error and which is not error. And in that example, use the concept of polymorphism. So we need to understand which function will give us error and which functions will run smoothly. After that, he was supposed to ask me the questions on project, but I played really smart. The one of the most important thing I will be telling you today, whenever you are going to give any interview, make sure we use your presence of mind. The reason why I will tell you, my whole project was written in Java. But the point is, at that time, I was not much confident in the Java. But I was a bit scared that if they try to jump on Java, they will really go in depth because and there are certain things I'm not much aware about it and it might affect my performance. So he asked me about my project and I told everything about my project and finally I told him one thing that changed my interview I would say. I told them sir I'm really good in C++ but I wanted to learn some basics of Java so I decided to take a challenge and develop the project in Java. Believe me I didn't get a single question on Java and the project. This was the most turning point of my interview, I would say. This is why I'm telling you that you should keep your presence of mind so clearly so that you can come to know exactly what to answer and what not. What most people think is they are controlling interview. No, with the help of our answer, we can control our interview as well. Because the point is, whatever you say at last will be your next question, will be your next question. Say for example, if they ask the question, what do you mean by variable? And if I say it is a name given to a memory location, for sure the next question will be, what do you mean by memory? But if I say a variable, it is a name given to a container, which is capable of holding value. Now, will it be any questions I will be coming on this? Absolutely no. That's the reason why I always say, keep your presence of mind so clear so that you can come to know what to answer and what not. So we're done with the C++ section and finally they jumped on to the HR question. But the point is, I just asked two or three HR questions, I still remember. Uh, if you want to know more about HR questions, I have already made a playlist, you can watch through it so that you can get better answering non-technical answers as well. So the first HR question I was given as, uh, say for example, I am a leader and I have 100 people under my hands and I have to complete the project, but the point was, the project is going to take six months for the completion, but the clients want to complete it in four months. Then he asked me, how will you complete that project in four months rather than completing in six months? So many people give answers like, I will ask my team members to work over time and all this stuff. No, I played again really smart because it's been a four years, I'm reading books and it gave me habit to think on those answers, which we call as extreme four. What does it mean is answering the question on the spot. So what answer I gave is, sir, first of all, before developing the project, I will check the history of my company that whether my company has developed a similar project. I'm not saying same, I'm saying similar project. And if it is, then our requirement, design and analysis, these things will be saved. So instead of completing project in four months, we will be able to complete in two or three months, isn't it? This is the most beautiful answer I gave and when I told this answer, the interviewer was really happy. And the final question he closed up with, what about reallocation? Then I said, yes, since I'm traveling a lot during my engineering days, so I can adapt to environment easily. And finally, I ended up with the interview. Then I waited for one week and after one week, I got a mail from TCS that you got selected for TCS Digital with a package of 7.5 LPA. So this was my overall interview experience. So I highly recommend you, if your TCS is digital, make sure you are really clear on your projects and technical access. If your TCS is Ninja, 60% make sure you are good in technical and 40% you have to be clear with a short question because that those things is turning point for Ninja profile and for digital profile, since it is higher package, your technical plays important role. Again, if you want to know how I prepared for aptitude, do know, let me know in the comment section so that I can tell you how to prepare for aptitude. Because as of my experience, the aptitude of TCS is a bit difficult than rest of the companies. 
so if you want to know the clear roadmap of preparing aptitude do let me know in the comment section till then i hope so you understood the my experience of interview and all the best if you are giving any interview till then have a happy coding